Hello, fire signs. This is Brandy from Brandy's Story and I Tarot. Yes, I'm doing fire signs for the month of July. Don't worry, I'll do more. But I have family coming. I figured this is more important than all the planetary lines. So this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of July of 2022. Huh. This was underlying energy for the earth signs. Blessing on a new venture. I wanted to focus so we don't have such a hard time. No, no, okay. Blessing on a new venture. <clears throat> Blessing on a friendship. Let me see if I can get this too. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Man, that looks like a... So, I know the horse's head is really big, but bless it. The age of both of these, like a middle-aged person caring for an animal that maybe uh, has had its day or whatever and given them a blessed rest of their life. It could be any animal which is going to almost spark an interest on an idea, a new venture, right? Out in the open. Uh, younger, older. Something maybe you didn't think would happen, right? Taking care of things, not being selfish are all in ourselves. Like, this is our venture. That's going to help us lift sadness. That's how... Um, I don't know, man. I, I know, like, these could literally go any which way. But there is a blessing, a new path. I want to say it's taking care of other things that open up our eyes to lift the sadness. Right? Giving our love to things that need it, that have no hope or something, is a new prosperous venture. No matter how this falls in your life, whether you're with someone or not with someone... Yeah, it's, I just shuffled and there it is again. A blessing for solace and hope. So we go from the dark to the light. We're blending the darkness with the light and and we're able to see um, certain, certain things that's going on, right? There's hope. I just keep getting a feeling it's something that you never in your life would have thought you'd be, you'd be doing. Something that brings such comfort to other things and yourself. Whatever this is, that's what you're supposed to be doing. If you've been stuck in a relationship, if you've been wondering what you're supposed to do, what your purpose is, ask. <laughs> ask. Ask us to help you in this situation. We will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws, and among them, it's free will that allows you to make your own choice and decision. So we patiently await your request. So if someone or something's been standing in your way, or you've been wondering if this is the correct choice for you, the right path for you on a friendship, on a business venture, you know, um, someone older or, uh, just uh, people, animals who really need you. If this is a sign, they're giving it to you. Law of attraction. And that card literally just spoke of, you know, there's other rules that govern the world and ask us, they will align things for you. Each thought is an investment that pays immediate dividends. So invest wisely. You have the power to choose your thoughts and align them with love, peace, and harmony. At your request, we will gladly attune to your energy and higher frequency. Right? Um, again, she is surrounded by animals. Taking care of them. Okay, this seems to be the way I was going. Um, I know that's not going to be for everyone, but you can literally apply this into your life. You know, if you were thinking about a new venture and asking someone or going a certain way, this is your, this is your answer. That is a yes. 
okay? If it is uh, with good motivation and for the highest good of all, it is definitely a yes. And if you ask, they will be there for you. That is going to bring hope. This new idea, this venture. Shower of abundance, folks. Don't pay attention to my nappy nails right now. It is what it is. <laughs> To heal your financial situation, first give us your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you allow. Okay, so what does this mean to me? They're opening up a doorway for you. They are trying to give you the assertive power to ask for what it is that you know will be in your highest good, like signs. For this venture how am i going to get the money who's going to let me are they going to stand in my way you've been sad you've been sad they're going to open doorways for you ask have you sat and prayed have you asked your ancestors any of that because this is a law of attraction so we think so we shall sow what we do so we shall sow right things are sometimes just not fair in life, put it that way. Sometimes things just don't seem fair, but people can't seem to understand that sadness comes. Death is inevitable. Um, yeah, is it right sometimes? No. Um, do we get what we want when we want sometimes? No, and you see everyone else. But there's always a lesson. Um, a time stall, something to push us further. Um, just weird. Strength, the mountain. Exactly. Looks like hot lava, but it's not. It is just hot sand. You are going to have to cross some boundaries. Um, some maybe boundaries people will put in your way. Uh, made it a little impossible. Made it very hard for you to get to this goal, to attain it. But have you sat and asked... For any divine guidance, any divine help, you're going to hear my cat in the background. <laughs> um, you know, they will help break this mountain bit by bit. They will give you the power that you need. They will give you the strength that you need. <laughs> Volcano and activation. Showing up for you, fire. Uh, maybe you're going to get some help from a air sign or any air placement. Okay? This is really trying to push you to activate this is like a milestone in your life like a a north node purpose activation and guidance activation and guidance i know roe versus wade is a big thing for women right now okay i am pro choice and in pro choice i mean i know there are gray areas i am not on one side or the other and I know as women, we have to stand together now, but when are we going to put bounds? When are we going to put bounds when it's not okay? I don't, if you're going to go full term, give it up. If you couldn't cross your legs and you did that on purpose, cross, I don't care. I am here to protect the children and the animals and the things that cannot speak for themselves, even though I am pro-choice. I will fight side by side for you for us to get our rights back, but I believe there are limits. I felt very powerful saying this, like some things are going to go down. This is the only reading I have felt that in, mind you. <sighs> there is going to be hope. This is a whole other section. That's why I felt very mm, drawn to say it. We have hope standing in solidarity no matter what side. No matter what side as women. Sorry men, just tune out for a second. As women... You can no longer look at the political aspect. You have to look at a woman as a woman. Understood? We have mountains to climb. Anyways, this is the feminine period. Well, the masculine period, too, to be fair. It follows the feminine. Um, anyways, you guys get the gist here. That was a message I need to come. It's a wake-up call to purify. Especially a Pluto coming. This is a graveyard, if you cannot tell. The rain is coming to wash into... Uh, nourish the ground. It's dark. It's hazy. Okay? That's how your life feels right now. It's dark. It's hazy. It's sad. 
Where do I go? What do I do? What's my purpose? Communion. Vulnerability. Looking the facts in the face. Right? Really, nature is very here of like communicating with your body, communicating with nature, getting the wake up call, getting the answers you need, learning to put boundaries um, on people and learning to cross the boundaries that have been placed on you. It is about to blow off. <laughs> it is about to be very... It, uh, Dynamic. We're going to call it dynamic. I'm going to watch my words. Very dynamic in your life, fire sign. You're about to no longer be quiet on something. Here is the five of wands that fell out. Her head is on fire, like I said. It's about to get very combative. You're about to take down those boundaries someone else put on you. At the ten of wands and the queen of swords. I, I, okay, this is standing for yourself, standing, she carries the truth, um, you know, the sword of justice, cutting through, knowing that this is going to be hard, but I'm doing it, I'm going to cross those lines, right, this is again the friendship, the kinship, moving forward, being successful, smashing those small goals, but first you have to stand up for yourself, First, you have to put some boundaries in place for yourself so you can really go after this new path, this new chapter in your life. Yeah, Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Five of Wands. Yeah, that's going to be a hard climb, that strength. Calling all areas of power in yourself. Feminine, masculine, whatever. This is really fighting for stability, the idea the venture, you know this is going to bring joy. You're tired of sitting around waiting for other people. You're tired of sitting around wasting your life. You want to at least help people for that, right? Putting the plan into action. It's coming. Whether that's to go to someone else, to travel, knowing you got to work very hard. This is a very solo type of act to get where it is that you want to be. So many scenarios here. This guy's come out quite a few times. I've put him back. Be five of swords. Arguments. Money. Where do I do it? How am I going to do it? I'm going to do this for me. This is for me. Like, you keep telling me these things. That's going to come. It's going to come. It doesn't. It doesn't. You keep putting these things on me to make me stressed. No more. Like, I'm, I am putting... I'm putting my foot down. I'm going to go do what makes me happy. You can either stand behind me or not stand behind me. And this is to whomever. Right? I'm tired of being sad and only thinking sad and thinking, you know, this is about being assertive. I'm going to be very, this is point blank. Bring something in new. Being assertive in the actions of that. And sometimes we have to ruffle feathers for all that. Sometimes. So my friends, sometimes we have to ruffle feathers. Now we're going to get a postcard from Spirit and wrap up this July reading. I try to give several scenarios because, you know, I'm reading for the collectives. You can always go to toriandi.com uh, to book a reading, of course, but um, yeah. Dear you, there are times in life when taking a risk is better left for another day. Other times are perfect for taking that leap. No matter how dangerous it might seem. Well, hold on to your parachute strings, for today is leap time. Realize that no matter what, we will not let you fall, drown, get lost, or hurt yourself in any way on this one. Even if it may feel like you are in a free fall, we are here for you. If you can stop freaking out about getting hurt and relaxing to that transition of something new, all the elements in place, and your soul is ready for a new experience. No matter what you're asking about, it's time to take the risk and do that thing that scares you. No matter what happens, you will land softly, right on target. Don't worry about the outcome. Spirit's got that covered. It's taking the leap itself. Uh, that's the point. 
this just backs me up from spirit. Okay, whatever it is you've been scared about doing, it's it's a venture. It's literally a new chapter if you're saying, I don't know what that is. Because I catch myself doing that with readers too. This is about a new chapter in your life. The new, bringing the new in, taking the leap, going on the trip, saving the money for it, tired of being told no, something in those regards. It's time. 